To throw harder in baseball, focusing on mechanics, physical conditioning, and technique is key. Here are six tips that can help improve your throwing velocity. Strengthen your core and legs. The power in your throw doesn't just come from your arm, it originates from your core and legs. Engaging and strengthening these parts of your body through exercises like squats, deadlifts, and planks can significantly increase your throwing power. Improve your flexibility and mobility. Flexibility and mobility in your shoulders, arms, and wrists can enhance your arm speed and thus your throwing velocity. Regular stretching, yoga, and mobility drills can help improve your range of motion, allowing you to whip your arm forward more effectively. Fine tune your mechanics. Proper throwing mechanics are crucial for increasing velocity while reducing the risk of injury. This includes optimal footwork, hip shoulder separation, and arm angle. Working with a coach to fine tune these aspects can lead to significant improvements in your throw. Increase arm strength. While the core and legs are foundational, arm strength is also important. Exercises that target the shoulders, forearms, and wrists can help build the necessary strength. However, it's crucial to balance strength training with rest and recovery to prevent overuse injuries. Use long toss. Long toss is a practice technique where you gradually increase the distance of your throws. It's excellent for building arm strength and improving your ability to throw harder. Ensure you're maintaining proper mechanics even as the distance increases. Mental focus and visualization. Throwing harder isn't just physical, it's also mental. Visualization techniques where you imagine yourself executing the perfect throw can improve your muscle memory and confidence. Additionally, staying focused and relaxed under pressure can help you perform at your best. Remember, improving your throwing velocity is a process that involves consistent practice, proper rest, and attention to both your physical and mental conditioning. Always consider working closely with a coach or a professional to ensure you're practicing these tips safely and effectively.